are on a beautiful Brea, California afternoon. A little bit of warm, probably about 85 degrees. Very nice. 1934 Ford pickup. Resto rod pickup. Very nicely done. Walk around and tell you about it like we used to do. Been on a long road trip here and I may get run over in the road like sometimes I do, but we'll let you get take a feel here. Somebody's going to buzz by here. Pardon the slight delay there. Very nicely done. This is an all Jenny body. Uh, desert known desert truck prior to its restoration. The current owner is the owner that had it restored. Restored about 20 years ago and about 20,000 miles, but it's the type of truck you can drive. Runs great. Nice little upgrades on it. Out back here, it has a TCI upgraded uh, four bar rear suspension with adjustable coilovers and Curry housing, nine inch rear differential. Beautiful dark burgundy finish on it, kind of a period color with black fenders. Has very nice uh, true spoke wheels on it with uh, V8, V8 trim hubcaps on it. You'll see the finish as we cruise around here. You can pick it for a little bit of a minor flaw. It's been built 20 years, but you're looking at the same truck I'm looking at. We'll cruise around here and try and stay out of the road, and we'll get you come back around to this side. Beautiful all all Henry steel body, limited to no modifications on it. The factory cal vents right there. I don't know that it's working or not. It's not working because of the air conditioning. It's sealed, yeah. it's sealed because of the AC that's on it. The hood sides are all Jenny to this truck. The grill. They've louvered the hoods, the hood, the top hood pieces here. Nice hot rod feel to it. They've also louvered the visor here up front. Loaded with equipment too. Definitely a kind of truck you could hop on and do the road with it. He's done road trips before with it. Underneath the hood here is a Chevy 350 V8. Rochester 2-Jet two, two Tri-Power has a Tremec 5-speed or a Borg Warner T5 5-speed transmission in it. I like the character of the original style headlamps up front here. The commercial uh, 33, 34 pickup headlights are always cool. Back side of the housings are painted a jet black. Step up here. Out back, again, I mentioned the 9-inch rear housing. Up front here, it has uh, power disc brakes up front, drum in the rear. Four-bar suspension with a buggy spring and a dropped axle. Again, TCI components. Beautiful body on it. Long road trip Spudman's on. I picked up a lot of nice early Fords. This is one of those pickups I had a target on and we got back to it here. Gentleman's very proud of this. There's a full uh, restoration book, photo book, that I took a lot of photos of during the restoration. Key thing is this is an original bed on the back. It's not a reproduction. Get you inside here over on the passenger side. Very nicely done interior. It has a glide engineering seat. We'll talk about that. We get over in the driver's side. Underneath the seat is AC components and it also the audio system. It has a secret audio. So glide engineering seat. You didn't see a wiper, but it does have a wiper because he doesn't have it on it, but it has a really neat control panel right up top here. So it has a wiper, air conditioning, Turn metal dash. This is a heater here. We'll get you up underneath the dash. You'll see this is nicely detailed and professionally built. We'll cover here. You can see the uh, fan speed control switches there, but otherwise the switch for turning the air on is up above. Nicely fitted ca carpet, leather interior. These glide seats are really nice. There's a lever to pull it so the back seat back will come up. Well, the light's a little bit tough there. My truck's parked across the street. Door jam to door jam. Very, very nicely done. You'll see the stainless hard Allen hardware in the door jam here. Door shut nice. Catch the reflections of the trees there in the light. 
We've got it up on a lift from the shop that does a lot of work on it or did a lot of work on it. All professionally done, paint, body, mechanicals. Uh, uh, the gentleman had it done a lot here locally in Bray, California. Different shops, specialties, that type of thing. Again, a photo log of that. Go to Spud's Garage, you'll see how the bed, amazing condition of this. Uh, you can see the stake pockets are still here on it. There wasn't anything filled. He wanted to retain that factory stock feel and create a really a true resto rod, something you could drive. This is the original tailgate to this bed too. They've louvered the bottom here on the rear panel. It has a drop down license plate. Old Jewel. Kind of give you a peek of the undercarriage here. Very nice bottom side. Lizard skinned. All black, painted chassis. Pretty pick em up truck. Again, all the stuff you'd want. Modern horsepower, stick shift, five speed. Hope I don't get run over. Timing's about right here. See, this is a glide engineering seat with adjustability. Um, this is an antenna here. Secret audio system. Again, we'll get you over on this side. You can see where you turn it on here. 40 Ford steering wheel. Get in here, step back, let you take a peek in here. Very nice. Kelly takes care of this truck, loved it. Windshield still cranks out like it's supposed to. It has a secret audio system up here. This is a control panel, ignition start, headlights, AC, heater, wipers, lights, horn. Horn works. <laughs> yeah, he thought of everything when he put it together. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up here. I did not even put my foot on the gas, and that's dry power. 19665 are the miles on it since it was restored. Oil pressure right about 40. Bring up the R's a little bit here. I want to stand on the running board, so it might me get my back in here. It's charging up towards about 13. Fuel gauge is working. Oil pressure is about 40. Temp's 180. He's been driving it around. Got a tack here on the column. Emergency brake. We're not going to turn on the audio. We Cars are coming here. Get back and let you hear it run. Very sweet. Deep burgundy, non-metallic. bed. Spent a little time on talking about that, but very nice original Ford bed. Original, the world's Henry Steel is what it is. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here on the passenger side. Very nice uh, 350 Chevy V8. It was an all-new motor when it was installed. It has about 20,000 miles on it. We're over on the passenger side here. Just want to share the level of detail here. Nice little uh, moon fuel box that feeds the uh, tri-power on it. AC compressor over here, you notice it's 134A, so modern. Flex cooling fan. The AC condenser is actually underneath the car, and we'll cover that on the video for you. All right, we get you under the hood over here on the driver's side. Actually fired up for you on this side, too. We covered the passenger side also just a moment ago, and we'll take you over there. Very, very cool, very nicely done. Uh, built hot rod street rod here you can set it back set the hood back down so uh, I'm not having him hold it up here finished off stock uh, stock style firewall 350 Chevy V8 complete crate engine when it was installed in the truck at the build has tri-power carburation Rochester 2 dick 2 jet aluminum intake manifold Moon Eyes breather here, and we get over the passenger side, we'll share. It's got a Moon Eyes fuel distribu distribution block over there. I'll get it out. Has a factory-style distributor that has Protronic ignition in it. High amp, 
one wire alternator here that's chrome plated get a little better view over here on this side of the flex cooling fan long tube headers on it have been ceramic coated dual exhaust to the back okay he's been running we drove it over here so driven it everywhere obviously that's one you can drive i don't mind got it up on the lift here we're gonna walk around the outside and cover that for you cover the fenders these are all Jenny steel Ford steel fenders all have the beads on them they're nice fenders the bed itself is also factory steel tire size is a 235 75R15 bottom side of the running boards are just like the bottom of the truck Zolo toned or I would call it uh, lizard skin. They also stone guarded the bottom side of the fenders here. Kind of get a look up in the fenders here. Up front. You get it here 165 ADR15s up front. Same thing. Jenny Steel. Get up in the fenders there. Gas shocks. Very nice. Nice. Drop down license plate frame, old jewel. It's factory chassis on this one with modified, uh, it's been boxed and uh, updated with TCI components. Up back here there's a 9-inch uh, Curry housing, 9-inch rear differential in the back, adjustable coilovers, 4-bar rear suspension with panhard bar, whole bottom side of the beds, been coated with uh, like a lizard skin type finish the exhaust is very cool they kept it up nice and high step back for a second show you it exits here and exits here so doesn't hang down so work of art there has uh ac condensers back here lets the ac run more efficient it doesn't cause the truck to have any overheat issues the chassis is all black painted finished Emergency brake cables are here. This is an Optima battery. There's a uh, fuel filter here. T5 five-speed transmission. Uh, front disc brakes up front, so it's got power brakes on it, power reservoir here. This is a dual reservoir, like Corvette-style master cylinder ho horns are mounted here. There's a Willwood clutch, so it's a hydraulic clutch in it, which is nice. Chrome 4 bar up front, also TCI components with a dropped axle. GM style calipers, front disc brakes. Keep in mind, he's driven this 20,000 miles. We'll do one more pass through here and call it a day and get out and photo shoot it. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give us a call. Nine inch right there.